Happy Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We are live this morning on Periscope and Twitter, and also going to be posted on just a little bit on Google Plus and YouTube. So thank you very much for joining us. This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. This is something that we do uh, usually every single day, twice as necessary, depending on the severe weather. Sorry about the wibbly wobbly camera effects going on here. I'm trying to make sure everything's works where it needs to go. Uh, Forecast information, current information located right here. Forecast for today in this bar down here and forecast for tonight down in the lower bar right here. Websites, social media, all that stuff again well on over into that location. And again, thanks to everybody for joining us. Place your location in the comments section and let us know what you have going on in your weather conditions in your location. Put that thermometer outside the uh, kitchen window to good use and make certain that you're able to uh, let us know a little bit more about what's going on. Around the Mid-South this morning, just past about 7 7.30, we have precious little, if anything, really uh, actually happening. We've got, again, some more activity going on well back to our north and west. We've got a lot of showers and thunderstorms taking place there. Apologies for the delay. If you're on Twitter and Periscope, I am still here, even though I'm talking in a very staggered formation right down here in the lower section of the screen. Lots of showers and thunderstorms taking place from northwest Arkansas all the way back up into around the area of southwestern Ohio this morning. So if you're planning on traveling north, anything north of, say, Cape Girardeau, Poplar Bluff, that's where you're going to see the heaviest possibilities of thunderstorms out there moving up into portions of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, places like that. But stuff like this that you're seeing here is going to be possible into the Mid-South as we go into the course of the rest of the day today. Now, current advisories taking place at this time in green. We have, again, flash flood watches that have been posted for a good portion of the Mid-South area, and that includes includes the metro. So if you have any plans for travel, especially tomorrow, this is something you're going to have to pay attention to. Remember, it may be a silly catchphrase to you, but turn around, don't drown means more than just a silly catchphrase. It might actually save your life. Do not ever drive through water covered roadways. It's not safe. It could take your life very easily. So it's something again to consider out there if you are going to be driving anytime soon. This is again going to be the main thing that we're going to be looking at is the possibility uh, of this system coming through and dropping some fairly heavy rainfall across portions of the rest of the Mid-South. Pardon me while I do a little bit of a changeover here for a second. I'm going to have to scrunch the screen so I can get the information on here that we need to talk about. We also have at this time a wind advisory taking place. That's what you see in the blue shaded category for most of the Mid-South. Again, a wind advisory issued for those areas that may see wind gusts today of around 20 to 45 miles per hour. So this is where we're going to be seeing, again, the possibility of some very breezy winds out there across much of the Mid-South, uh, including the Metro. So if you have any plans for travel in the Mid-South, this is what we're going to be dealing with uh, throughout the rest of the day today. The red that you see on screen, local flooding information uh, statements taking place on various rivers and streams out there, mostly northeast Arkansas, a couple in West Tennessee, and a lot back to our north at this time. The green that you see on screen here and back back toward the Tennessee River, flood warnings that have been issued for both the Mississippi River and for the area around the Tennessee River. As all that rain falls into the Mississippi Channel north of us, all of that stuff has got to go someplace and it's going to drain right down the Mississippi Channel. So the Mississippi River in Memphis will be rising rapidly over the next couple of days. So this is something that is going to be uh, very important to pay attention to if you have any plans for doing anything along the river, whether it's agriculture, recreation, anything like that, you're going to have to pay attention because the river is going to be rising about a foot per day as all that water drains into the channel. So something again to pay attention to on this. Rest of the day, for those of you who can't stick around for the forecast, and thanks to everybody who's joining us on Periscope and Twitter at this time, I'm down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Cloudy for the most part, isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms possible early on. Better possibilities of showers and thunderstorms will be coming up late today into around this evening. Most of the activity that we're watching at this time will be again overnight tonight and into early uh, tomorrow morning. So that's where we're going to start to see the really heavy rainfall coming on through. We do have the possibility of severe weather. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Let's take a look and see what's going on with the forecast as we get into the course of the rest of the day. Uh, let me move this around so everybody can see their location in the Mid-South and all the temperature readings out there. And thunderstorms, yes, but they're 
they're going to be kind of sporadic for the most part. They're not going to be for everybody out there. They will be again for the possibility here and there. We're also going to see some very warm conditions across much of the Mid-South. Now, the computer models are looking at these gaps in the cloud cover as saying that it's going to be, again, mostly clear today, or at least partly cloudy, and that's why the computer is showing these lower 90s out there. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be mostly cloudy, and that's going to do a good job of blocking the sunshine, which means it's not going to get that warm, but it is going to be very warm out there regardless. So we could see again some very warm conditions out across uh, much of the Mid-South as we go into the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, it's going to be very warm, it's going to be very windy, and it's going to be very much on the cool side out there. So that's where we could see again the uh, worst of the worst taking place at this time. So if you have plans for outdoors, this is what we're expecting for most of the day today. Most of what we're seeing right now is going to be again late this evening into tomorrow morning. This is where we are seeing again uh, the possibility of the heaviest amount of showers and thunderstorms moving into the area early tomorrow morning about the time we hit news channel 3 daybreak and just beforehand we could be looking at some pretty nasty conditions out there when it comes to driving and that does include the possibility of maybe some severe weather across portions of the area that threat goes again right on into tomorrow morning through the morning into the afternoon several waves of showers and thunderstorms start to make their way into the forecast area and make their way back out again another line develops as we get into around Sunday afternoon and that again moves its way on through could be the potential of some fairly heavy rainfall with this and the possibility of damage winds, large hail, stuff like that, and can't rule out the possibility of maybe an isolated tornado or two. We have to take that into account at this time. Rest of the day today, we've just gotten an update from the Storm Prediction Center, again showing that most of the activity we're going to be watching for for the rest of the day is going to be, again, mainly into around the area of central Arkansas and southern Missouri. We have a bit of a slight risk, a lesser threat, but still possible, into and around the area of eastern Arkansas and also, again, back into around West Tennessee, Northwest Mississippi, a light green shaded category. That is where we see, again, the potential of temperatures back into around the mid to upper 80s and a lesser marginal threat of severe weather. So that's something, again, we could be uh, watching very carefully for the rest of the day. That threat moves into the Mid-South as we get into tomorrow, as we see the yellow shaded category over all of the Mid-South area. And that gives us, again, the potential, again, for possibility of damage winds, large hail, and cannot rule out the possibility of isolated tornadoes out there. Threat is gone by Monday. So there's really little, if anything, left over from that as we get into the rest of Monday. Rest of the forecast looking like this. Again, very warm, very windy for today. Temperatures will be back into around the mid to upper 80s to around the mid to upper 70s by tomorrow. But tomorrow we're going to see more showers, more thunderstorms, widespread across much of the Mid-South. Leaving the area by Monday. Yeah, I know the weekend would be nice to have some good weather out there. Not happening this time around. And mid to upper 60s possible by Monday. Rest of the week brings a Another chance of showers and thunderstorms Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but it looks like things clear out. So the first weekend of May actually looks pretty doggone good. We'll show you that coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That'll be coming up in just a little bit on the quarter hour, so stay tuned for that. Get our News Channel 3 Weather app. Go to the App Store and search WREG Weather. Your opportunity to keep up to date with what's going on with weather in the Mid-South area, and we'll keep you up to date on that by using the app out there, so definitely want to stay tuned again for more uh, on that, if at all possible. And don't forget about our forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network coming up throughout the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 so stay tuned for more there and of course I'll have your forecast on social media throughout the rest of the weekend and on News Channel 3 at this website right here at weatherwreg.com slash weather I gotta hop back out on set to get the rest of Daybreak finished up, so join me for an on-air broadcast coming up immediately following this, and we'll have more coming up throughout the area on forecast information later on tonight. No matter what's going on with the weather, we'll keep you updated on this, so definitely want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 for more details as to what's going on, whether it's severe weather, flash flooding, windy conditions out there. We will keep you advised on that, so stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a a quick weather update, our weather blog called Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for much more coming up throughout the rest of the day on air and online from News Channel 3 weather experts.